Hello YouTube, welcome back to uh, how to build an F-14 Tomcat. I got my little fabric holding table and cutting table and all that made up yesterday. Um, you can see there's, oh there's like five rolls of either fiberglass carbon fiber in there. The top surface here is quarter inch thick tempered hardboard. It's uh, it's kind of like MDF but it's pressed together and heated so it's really smooth. And it's also strong enough to where you can take that rotary cutter and cut through this heavy 18 ounce fabric and not leave a leave a mark on the on the surface. So it's been or well right at 40 hours or so I guess since I laid up the horizontal stab and the rudder mold. You can see there's clamps on the rudder mold. I actually separated that one yesterday and it turned out perfect and the horizontal stab is ready to be separated now so i'll go ahead and get the camera set up on a tripod and we'll get that one going I got to look at the AdTech resin, this laminating resin, and uh, the tech sheet actually says it takes anywhere from two to five days to fully cure. So that's why I didn't separate this yesterday. Even now in some of the areas where it's, the resin was a little thicker, it's still a little tacky, mostly here, but all around the perimeter, it's really, it's nice and solid. So I'm gonna pop this off today while you guys watch and then I'm going to pull parts out, wax, PVA it, and start laying up the other half today. I got to leave tomorrow to go out of town for a day, maybe two. So I'm hoping I can get this one laid up this afternoon. That way I can have the other mold done when I get back or have the other half done. There we go. There is a half of a staff mold. You notice pretty much all of the little, uh, the little vinyl uh, furniture bumpers peeled off of the parting planes. They're still stuck inside here on the uh, natural mold halves, which is no big deal because I just get a little little dull edge blade here and just kind of poke them in the middle and they pull right out
and I'll just end up reusing these. I'll just, the little sticky back that's on them is pretty much worn off now, so I'll just put a dab of CA or whatnot on the bottom of them next time I go to reuse them. But that's, and there we have it. There's a stab bolt. You can see if I can't get a good close up for you guys. You can see we've got the antenna detail in it. All the panel lines are there. The one hatch at the roots there. We've got the trough for the, uh, for the pivot shaft is there. So there's half of it. And what I do, the whole reason for that trough is what I do is when I get ready to lay up these parts, I'll lay up the part, vacuum bag it, I'll make up the interior structure, and then the, uh, the actual pivot shaft. What I'll do is I'll take my pivot shaft material, which this is just half inch aluminum that I got from the hobby store. It's not going to be the actual pivot shaft stuff. But I'll lay it in that, that little tunnel, and then I'll put the interior structure and the spars in, glue all that down, clamp the two halves together, and there we've got that pivot shaft held in place at the right position as the plug was. So I'm going to uh, just take this mold to the bandsaw, trim it up a little bit, round the edges so it's nice and smooth and round it off so it doesn't cut myself when I'm handling it and whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much it for the stab mold. The rotor mold was just the same as yesterday. Just tap it a couple times around the perimeter and it popped right off. So now that that is all done, pop this stab back out. But it's parting point. You can see the, the hot glue holds really well on this thing. and then we can just pop it back in position in the mold and once that's waxed and laid up and cleaned a little bit that's ready to be molded so for now I'm gonna leave you guys with that little bit of a teaser for the rest of the day I'm gonna uh, get this all situated and laid up and until the next video you guys have a good week and we will see you next time.